In this short tips and tricks video, we're going to look at how we can really control the vectorization within the trace bitmap form. So we're going to particularly look at the corner fit and noise filter options. And you can see that I've already got a file open. I've got my teddy bear image imported here and I'm already in the trace bitmap form. So let's take a look at some of the powerful ways that I can control the outcome of the trace. I've got a black and white image of a teddy bear here, so I'm going to use the black and white type of tracing. Okay, let's just increase the amount of colours that are going to come through there. Okay, you can see that's too much, it's bringing in the noise from the bitmap here, so I'd like to reduce that. You can see that's just removed that there, so around 0.53 seems to be okay. And then we move on to this bottom area. So this area is really where we can control um, the types of trace that we're going to get here. I'm going to start with the bitmap fading. Okay, so here we can have no fading, or I can have that full on. So it just helps me see the vectors in the preview a little bit better. So the first option I have here is the corner fit control. And this determines how accurately the vectors are fitted to corner edges within an image. So let's just zoom in on the teddy bear. Okay. Now at the moment we can see that we have a corner fit of 82%, so it's more on the tighter end. And let's just up that all the way to 100% just so we can compare the difference between tight and loose. If I preview that, we can see that vectors have been made to fit around the bitmap. And what the software's done, it will insert nodes within the vector to tightly follow the uh, colour boundary of the bitmap in order for us to create sharp detail. So if we just zoom in here, okay, so you can see we've got quite sharp edges around this ear shape. And let's just do the opposite. So let's just bring that down to loose or 0% tight and press preview. You can see it just smoothed uh, the vector following the shape of the ear there. Okay, so bring that back to tight and preview and you can see the sharpness uh, where it's following the shape of the bitmap. And so for this, what I want is loose preview that because I'd like to have smooth vectors that follow this shape. So now we move on to the noise filter. And so this controls uh, the minimum size of pixels that are vectorized. And this can help us eliminate these small unwanted vectors, what we call noise being created. So let's have a look at this. We can see that the uh, noise filter is already at 2 pixels. So let's just bring that down to 1 so we can preview that. And you can see what it's done there is it will create a vector boundary around any loose areas in the image that is 1 pixel. So you can see that more uh, vectors have been created there. Now I don't really want all of these noise vectors within my job here. And so this noise slider allows us to control the amount of pixels uh, within a cluster being traced. So we can up the amount of pixels to trace around and that will help eliminate all of this noise. For instance, if I upped that to 10 pixels, then what it will do will ignore 5x5 five five or smaller pixel clusters. So when I preview that, you can see that they've all been eliminated. And so then I could go ahead and press apply, close that form down. Let's just take a look at that as a whole. We just go into the layer manager here and just deselect the bitmap layer so we can just take a good look at those vectors. And you can see I'll just need to go in there, make a few edits uh, just to smooth those vectors out if I wanted to. And so you can see how much control we have when we vectorize an image using corner fit and the noise filter options within the trace bitmap form. So that completes this short video. Thank you for watching.